welcome back to my greatest features series. This is episode 4. This episode is about Eva Perón, an Argentine film actress, also known as Maria Eva Duarte, who was the wife of Argentine President Juan Perón and served as First Lady of Argentina from 1946 until her death in 1952. Now Eva Perón has been someone that's fascinated me since I was young. Uh, her power of speaking to the crowd and her love for her Argentinian people. We've got a, a small uh, mini bio of hers that we will look at and a short speech. She lived obviously in the, in the 40s and, and died early 50s. Speeches are harder to find and less uh, quality but nonetheless uh, she's the first woman on this list and we will have quite a few women who had great speeches and impact in the 20th century and uh, i hope you in, enjoy this uh, little clip of hers and her mini bio because she's a inspirational person in argentina and loved by many Eva Perón was one of the most influential women in South American history. The future First Lady of Argentina was born Maria Eva Duarte on May 7, 1919. Eva was born poor and she was illegitimate. And so her early life and her poverty shaped the way that she looked at things. Eva moved to Buenos Aires at the age of 15. She eventually found minor success as an actress on a popular radio show. Ava was a radio actress and was quite beautiful. That's how she uh, caught the attention of Juan Perón. Juan Perón at the time was the Secretary of Labor and in uh, 1944 there was an earthquake in Argentina. So he enlisted entertainment personalities in order to help raise funds for the victims of the earthquake in San Juan and this is where he met Ava and the romance started from there. He had some charisma, but it was the chemistry between the two of them that really made his career. And he met her at a point when he was on the rise politically, and she just lit the match, and it took off. They were married a year later, and it's one of the great romances of the 20th century. Ava really started to be uh, influential after uh, Juan Perón won the presidency in 1946. At that point then, she could carry out her plans, and her main goal was to help the poor. Ava was adored by Argentina's working class, and in 1948, she started the Ava Perón Foundation. It was very, very beneficial to the poor of Argentina, and really garnered support to the presidency of Juan Perón because of the work that Ava did with the foundation. This is why he was able to amass such a devoted following that kept him in office. The opposition resented the fact that Ava went to the foundation every day 
and put in a full day of work and sat at a desk and received a long line of individuals one by one and wrote out checks. I think a lot of people just saw that as vote buying. Helping the poor was not Ava's only favorite cause. She was a feminist who was passionate about equality for the women of Argentina. Ava was Minister of Health and Minister of Labor and both of those offices gave her the opportunity to really advance women's rights. She really took an interest in not just suffrage, but also healthcare, education, and duties that to this day still fall largely on females in a lot of cultures. At the height of her involvement with both governmental and humanitarian campaigns, Ava suddenly became ill with cancer. She wanted to run for vice president during the second term election of Juan Perón, but uh, sickness really prevented her from doing that. Ava Perón's illness came on very quickly. Nobody could imagine that somebody that young and vibrant would just absolutely wither before their eyes, which was what she did. The Argentine Congress named the ailing Ava the spiritual leader of the nation of Argentina. On July 26, 1952, Eva Duarte Perón, First Lady of Argentina, died. She was 33 years old. Eva's death caught everybody by surprise, and the response was just absolute national bereavement. Inconsolable, to this day, quite frankly, for, for some groups. Eva Perón's legacy is one of empowerment of women. I think the Argentines see her as a woman who did good things supported the poor, but was strong, and one that serves as a model for women in Argentina.